Hey, it's Sola here, and I'm gonna show you my top tricks and tips for making the best stuffing. For me, stuffing is the most important side on the Thanksgiving table, so I'm gonna show you how to make it as great as it can be. I grew up eating stuffing out of the box, so for me, stuffing contains three things. We're gonna make croutons, season them up really good so they're nice and tasty. There's gonna be mix-ins, and then we need moisture. So those three things, if you understand like the basics of it, you can kind of mix it up and make your stuffing however you'd like. Okay, so there's a lot of different ways you can make stuffing. You can make it with cornbread, challah, brioche. I'm going for some good um, peasant bread. Um, and you can flavor it however you like. I grew up with a really classic stuffing with just mirepoix, so carrot, um, celery, onion, and my mom would also put green beans and giblets in there. But you can really, the mix-ins can be anything. You could do kale, oysters, uh, sausage, squash, like really anything. But I was in the mood for I'm just all the allium stuffing. I was in the mood for a lot of onions. So I'm gonna do onion powder on my croutons, onion and garlic powder, and then fill up the stuffing with cooked down onions, caramelized onions, some scallions, some crispy green uh, chives, Okay, I'm starting off by cutting my bread into squares for croutons. You can also rip them into little pieces like this to have more organic little shapes. And I feel like that feels a little bit more fancy. But for Thanksgiving, I prefer like the more old school nostalgic vibe I get when I cut my bread into squares. You can also just cut your bread and let it stale overnight, but making croutons is tastier. Okay, my bread is cubed and there's a lot of it. Too much for my bowl, so I'm gonna transfer it to a sheet tray to make it a little easier for me to season it up. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. As you can see, I'm making a lot of stuffing because I have a lot of bread, which I'm gonna turn into a lot of croutons. So I'm drizzling on a little bit of duck fat first. You can use whatever kind of fat you've got, olive oil, ghee, butter, but you know, I just happen to have some duck fat, so why not? And then I'm gonna season it with some kosher salt, a little MSG. MSG just helps bring it out nice savory flavor. Don't overdo it though, cause too much tastes weird. Black pepper, um, onion powder and garlic powder. And I'm just gonna toss and, oh no, are we out? Garlic powder. I'm gonna toss and then just keep adding more until it tastes good. Okay, after tasting, I wanna add pretty much a little bit more of everything. And then I also found some dried sage. So I'm gonna put that in there too. Make it for the onion. So just like season it up with whatever you've got. Just make it really tasty because this is gonna be the base of our stuffing. My bread cubes are all seasoned up and I'm gonna pop them in the oven until they turn into nice toasty croutons for the base of our stuffing. So I really want to layer the onion flavor. I've got some of my onion have been cooking until they're like kind of jammy, frizzly, caramelized. Now I'm gonna add some diced white onion. Oh gosh, this is a very full bowl. <sighs> some diced white onion, sliced garlic, and scallion bottoms, and saute that until it's just tender but I, I don't want it to get brown and jammy. So we have different layers of onion flavor. But like I said, your mix-ins can be whatever you want it to be. I really like wilted kale with sausage. That's a good one. Um, you can put what, celery, celery and apple. That's a good stuffing. What are other stuffings, Sam? Spinach, sweet potato. I'm just listing vegetables. You can see the onion, garlic, and the scallion whites have gotten translucent and tender. And now we're gonna add our final layer of onion. I'm gonna, I have my thinly sliced greens that I'm not gonna cook. We're gonna keep it crisp. Some chives. I'm gonna hold back on a little bit to garnish, but putting most of it in there. And that is the mix-ins. Okay, part three, moisture. I've got a couple of eggs here. It's gonna be binder, but really the key is having very, very good 
uh, stock or broth. You can use vegetable broth if you want, chicken stock, turkey stock, whatever you've got, but get like something really, really good. This is where it's gonna matter and it's gonna make a big difference in your final stuffing. So I've got a couple eggs, I'm gonna season it up with salt and pepper and then whisk it up with my um, broth. My mom would even use milk, sometimes a little bit of cream, she wants to make it richer, but you can really change it up, use whatever you've got. We're gonna put it all together. We have our croutons, our mix-ins, and our moisture. I'm gonna try and mix it up in this casserole dish because as you can see, I'm making a lot of stuffing and I do not have a big enough bowl. But we're gonna make it work. It's gonna be fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a heavy pan. Oh, I'm doing it though. I'm holding it up with one, one hand that's missing a finger. <laughs> so I'm going to toss this in and then I'm going to add my, my stock and egg mix. And then if you're not afraid of raw eggs, give it a taste. I'm not afraid of raw eggs. I'm going to give it a taste to make sure that it's still bring the moisture to the party mix it up you know what I think we're gonna need more we need more ah. let's mix it up so you can mix this up the day before and just um, cover it put it in your fridge and then bake it up right after your turkey comes out of the oven while it's resting and then the bread's gonna have a, enough time to like soak in everything and really come together. But you can also do it same day. Okay, so I gave it a taste, and I think it needs a little more salt. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take a cue from my mom and add a little milk too. Maybe maybe the rest of the stock, but just go ahead and taste and adjust and then until it tastes good to you. Uh, now even though we've got duck fat in there. I'm gonna still add some dollops of butter on top before popping it in the oven so it gets nice and golden brown and we get butter flavor in there too. Duck fat flavor, butter flavor, so much flavor. Flavor happening at every stage. Oven in the oven. We're going in. It's that easy. It's bread with stuff in it. We got this. Oh, since we're not stuffing it, is it called dressing? <laughs> All right, so my stuffing has done baking and it's nice and crispy on the top, tender on the inside. I'm gonna finish it with some freshly chopped scallions for some green, but there you go. So all you gotta remember for your stuffing is to make sure you layer the flavors because it is just bread and it can get bland. Season your bread, season your mix-ins, season your moisture. Ooh, steam, steamy, so steamy. Steamy. 